Over the last 10 days, more than 140,000 Rohingya Muslims have fled Burma's Rakhine state to seek safety in Bangladesh. They are leaving from the northern part of the state on foot and by boat, carrying whatever possessions they can take with them. Aid workers and rights groups on the Bangladesh side of the border describe seeing an endless stream of humanity, with thousands crowding into camps and hospitals if they can make the journey successfully. They are fleeing some of the worst violence to hit the conflict-torn region in decades. The exodus started on August 25th, when insurgents from the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army attacked dozens of police posts in Rakhine State, killing more than a dozen of Burma's security forces. Rakhine State is next to Bangladesh and is home to Rohingya Muslims, the largest stateless group in the world. Burma, which is almost 90% Buddhist, considers the Rohingya to be immigrants from Bangladesh. Rakhine State has been declared a military operations zone, and Burma's government says more than 370 Rohingya fighters have been killed. But many Rohingya activists and rights groups say civilians number among the dead, and that the army is committing atrocities, which is why so many are fleeing. Those making the trip face a tough journey. They lack food and water. They also have to evade military patrols, and those on the ground have reported civilians carrying out vigilante justice against the Rohingya. Some cross a river that is connected to the Bay of Bengal, and the weather has capsized boats, while at least 57 bodies have washed up as a result. Farther north, refugees hit hilly territory, and the arduous journey can last anywhere from a few to 10 days. Aung San Suu Kyi is facing the biggest test of her administration. She was elected in 2015, ending decades of military rule. But the festering Rohingya crisis has marred the transition to democracy. Defenders say that the country's military is calling the shots, and Suu Kyi is powerless to get in their way.